I'm very sad. It is our last day at Media Row at Super Bowl 57 Phoenix. There's a good vibe in the air. We've got new bartenders. I'd like you to meet the Haley's. Hello. Yes, they'll be pouring drinks for some of our guests today. And I'm sure you want to know who are those guests. How about George Kittle? I don't know if his voice is sore from singing with Kelly Clarkson last night, but he'll be here. And I hope that Nick Bosa brings the Defensive Player of the Year trophy along with him. He won that at NFL Honors last night. And we've got uh, Tua Tunga by Loa stopping by. Justin Herbert is on the show. Stars on stars. And I got to say, my oh, my God, my favorite guest. <laughs> See, my I didn't favorite guest. That time. I really thought, I don't know, I couldn't find you. You were in my eyesight, so I scared Nick yeah, Burleson. In the building. You What's good? up, Kay Adams? How you doing? Good to see you, Nate Burleson. Let's go. Uh, Darkwing Duck is what we just decided to talk about. You look like you're in Blade Runner. You look well, like you're I, killing you know, vampires and zombies in that outfit. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I do kind of feel like Wesley Snipes in Blade. I'm feeling myself. This feels normal. This feels normal. <laughs> it's been a minute. A reunion. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. I saw you last night. You were doing your thing at NFL Honors. I'm trying. You remember when we were at Honors? I, I saw all the pictures yesterday. People were posting. We we really we, we did our thing. We blew up. Though. I remember at one point it was snowing, and I carried you over my shoulder because yes. you couldn't walk in hills in the snow. Yes, that's true. That's how true. far back we go. That's true, and that's how close we are. Nate Rose, and you are fact. killing it. Nickelodeon, Mia is killing it. Oh, like yeah, she, she's doing she, her thing. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. She's yeah. amazing. She's CBS, doing thing. CBS This Mornings, of course, everything that you do with the NFL, NFL yeah. Plus. Uh, Rihanna? Rihanna? Wait, can I have, like, a, just a little hug to just okay. get some of that Riri? That, that Riri energy? energy? Talk to me about that. Riri was, in, she was incredible. Uh, you know, we, we got a call, my team, and they said, we would love for you to sit down with Riri. Now, initially, I wasn't too shook because I sat down with Gaga. I sat down with Timberlake, J-Lo. No, you said Gaga looked through your through Yeah, she looked through my soul. <laughs> she looked through my soul. Gaga's a lioness. Gaga's crazy. But so is Rihanna. She walked in that room with this essence and this energy, and you could just tell she was so happy to be back on the big stage. Yeah. Uh, and... and she was genuine about the reception that she felt. You remember when they posted that hand with the football and they're like, Riri's doing yeah. the Super Bowl halftime show? And I was telling her, I was like, yo, you broke the internet. And she was like, yeah, I know. And I just appreciate the fact that the people want me back. And, and she's going to kill it. I have a feeling that it's going to be one of the best halftime shows ever. Is it just her, you think? Nah. I asked her if there was a guest. So now she wouldn't tell me. Uh, but I have a feeling like she's going to bring out somebody. Imagine if she brings up Drake. Or Jay Z. Or Paul McCartney. Or Paul McCartney. Anybody. Eminem again. Any, back Rocky. to back. Bring out the baby. She can bring out an eight month old I baby. I don't want her to bring out anybody. You want to be solo? Do it dolo? herself. Absolutely. Why really? not? She can do it. Oh, no, she can do it for yeah. sure. 100%. I don't think she needs anybody. But, like, you know, we love a little variety yeah. in the halftime show. <laughs> we do. We love Nate Burleson. And we got Hamilton's here. Okay. He'll just oh, come my up. God. Up. Look at this. Beautiful. Well, this is, beautiful this is bearded man. We're talking about Rihanna. We can't lose sight of the special guest that you had last night on the red carpet, Kat. Tell me who. Oh, who, 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 oh gosh. Who did you you had a time on the red carpet. Can we show? I Here we a, go. What do we got? Here we go. I had a date. Oh. Nate, Nate, Nate knows I'm notoriously uh, quiet about my private life. I don't like to flaunt, and I really fell in love with Swagger from Old Spice. That was okay. my date. First of all, can we talk about that outfit? Ow, ow! <laughs> Wait. I mean, you know, you're my sister, I so I can talk about this without it getting weird. You got a lot of skin showing, sis. All right? no, I don't want to fight nobody on the red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's called confidence. So we're swagger. protective over you. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I know. It is confident and swagger. You killed it. It's a good look. Thank you. All right, look Hammer. Like Rihanna would Hammer's here. Can we talk about who we have on the show? Who do we got? Oh, we got Tua coming up, which is going to be awesome. Tua in the George building. Kittle. Oh, what? Gabe Davis. I heard Stefan Diggs might stop by. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You might have to go over there and carry him like you carried me back okay. in. Okay. Well, you got Gabe Davis and Stefan Diggs. Hopefully at oh, the yeah. same time with you. So I'm. So uh, I can only be the best receiver on the show for like five minutes. <laughs> Can't give me 10 minutes of being the best fight out. We'll see. We'll hear about Tua and Tyree Kill, of course. Yes, and then course. we have Justin Herbert on the show as well. So I lots of guests. Sean Payton's running around here. He was here yesterday. Maybe he'll stop by. But okay. we got a good crowd for you, Burleson. No, they are not yeah. for me. I saw all of these people taking pictures of Kay. They're no. not here for me. I think they're here for Tua. Let's go see him, right? Oh, Let's go down there and check out Tua. Is he down there? Oh, yeah. yeah. He's here. All right. Tua, Tunga by Lolo on the Up and Adam show. Let's see. Where is he? Nate, you literally look like you're slaying vampires. Hey, you, know you want to talk about what I wear? Tua! Dang. Good to What's see up, you. What's up, baby? How you doing? How you doing, man? It's been a long time since uh, a long time. camera, talking to people. 
We, we love it. We love seeing you. Congratulations on the season. Incredible. Thank you. Thank you. I said before the season, you're going to shut everybody up, and you did that. And now you're here <laughs> to not shut up about everything you're doing with Subway. Tell us about it. Yeah, so um, I teamed up with Subway, and uh, Subway's helping level up uh, fan Super Bowl experience okay. at home uh, okay. through their new Subway series. Okay, well, we love to hear that, and we love to hear that you are also doing some sort of trivia. Are you going to make Nate and I look bad right now? Uh, no, not we really. we got nothing but love for you, two. Uh. It shouldn't be that bad. It should be pretty easy. Okay. Maybe for you, maybe not for Nate. I'm not too sure. Oh, it's all right. wow! Let's see. Woo! Come on, man. I can read it. Right. Tell me what I need Shots to do. Fire. All right. They're all right, leveling up the Super Bowl experience, and you've got some trivia for me. Let's go. Correct. All right, so first question. How many rushing touchdowns oh, gosh. did me, Tua Tagovailoa, okay. did I have in 2021? 2021? 2021. How many rushing touchdowns? I'm gonna say six. I'm gonna say five. Okay. Oh, is it one of these numbers? Sure. <laughs> okay. It's one of these it numbers. It is one of the, the well, you should have actually. Is it the I'm boss? Sorry. Okay. I don't know. I'm what going do you mean you don't know? I'm going with eight, eight rushing touchdowns. Okay. Oh, eight. we're opening it up. <gasps> what is it? I mean, it's right. What do I, I do? Know, I don't Let know either. <laughs> oh, so I think I want to do First of all, you don't have to laugh at me if okay, I get it wrong. Why is it warm and it smells delicious? Subway. Is this, I mean, Subway. Oh, my gosh. Water. I need to eat that. That's amazing. Yeah, okay. That's that's point. Point. Open three. Marissa's telling us to open three. Now, what's that one? Oh, this is fresh. I thought you were going to ask me how many touchdowns you had, and it was 25 this year because you crushed it. So are you going to start eating this? I already know. Okay, what, which, okay. one, which one's your favorite Subway sandwich, Tua? I am... That you, that you're one? going with the monster. The monster. Um, so if you can create your own Subway sandwich, what would it be? Oh. Yeah. If I could create my own, uh, I would say because I'm a pretty simple guy, um, it would be normal wheat. Okay. Wheat bread. Turkey, okay. Yeah. Lettuce, yeah. Tomatoes, okay. Yeah. That's just uh, oh, salt and pepper, it's just, it's vinegar. It's old school. It's oh, a little fine, vinegar. Yeah. You, you can put some like. But listen, I, ju I just teed too. you up perfectly for the alley oop. You're supposed yes. to say the tua melt. The tua Doesn't that make melt. sense? It's great. We'll talk more about Lord. Subway. Let's come up here. Tom, you want to come sit with us on the couches? <laughs> All right, everybody. So, uh, Subway leveling up the Super Bowl experience. You've got the new menu, the okay. Subway series at home and here well, in Arizona. Back, okay. What's going so on let's here? Say, why don't you come sit over here with us? Okay, okay. There you go. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let you sit right there, fam. Now, when you look back at this year that you had, and I said that the, the, the touchdowns, you proved a lot of people wrong. How do you look back and define what 2022 was for you? There was some adversity, of course. Yeah, I... I think it was it was the best year I've I've had, um, and the best year that um, I felt in the building uh, mm. with with the people, uh, with with the camaraderie of the guys. It was it was 360 from from what I I've seen coming into the NFL, and uh, just the belief of of the the players in each other, um, the belief of the coaches in the players. It, it 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 was something that that was totally different for me, and um, now I'm very proud of how our team battled through uh, a lot of adversity this year with the injuries at yeah. not just the quarterback position but other positions as well, defensively and then up front uh, for our line. So I I'm I'm very proud, and and you know I'm your I'm best happy. year. You're the best you've ever felt. We love to hear that. Yeah, no doubt about it. I when I had uh, my cup of coffee in Cleveland, which was my last stop with the Browns uh, before I retired, my wide receivers coach was Mike McDaniel. Mm. And I remember thinking to myself, this dude is as cool as it mm. gets, and he cares. And sometimes people may think that's a bad thing for a coach, but I've always thought if a coach cares about you as a person, he's going to care about you even more as a player. I saw initially when you guys connected that the relationship was different. And you talk about belief. It's coaches believing in players. How much of Mike McDaniel showing up as a coach that believed in you on and off the field helped you be the guy you were? Yeah, it helped tremendously. It, it skyrocketed my confidence. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've said this um, before. He sat me down, uh, brought me up in the office and told me, um, you know, like, dude, do you not understand, like, the kind of player you are? Do you, like, mm. like, 
And he I'm showed like, you film, right? I'm like, sure. And, you know, he, he comes and shows me film. But outside of that, like, me not knowing, like, he showed the entire staff, like, the film. And he, he, he got, you know, like, um, the owner to come and watch this. And he was just so excited. Wow. And just, just thinking of, of uh, someone that has belief in you. Yeah. It's not you that they're, they're only trying to convince, you know, to believe in yourself. But it's everyone else that believed in you at one point. And yeah. then now has been questioned because of things and being that's not easy. displayed through the media. Because as a coach, he's putting his name on the line in front right. of the other coaches and players. And an the, owner. The, yeah, and the owner. The reason I love that story, when you told that, um, it brought back a memory. When I first signed with the Cleveland Browns, I'm an older wide receiver. I'm 33 years old. Um, at the last years of my career, I walk in. We have these young guns in there. You got Josh Gordon and Andrew Hawkins, Willie Sneed, Taylor Gabriel, all these young guys, young superstars. And the first thing he does when he walks, he introduces me. He says, hey, this is Nate Burles. And the guys are kind of like, oh, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, they're doing the whole young guy thing. And he's like, okay, I know you guys think you know who he is. Mm. Watch this. Mm. Pops on tape of my entire 11-year career. Wow. Music in the background. And it was a remi reminder of me, too. Yeah, that'll yeah. work, that'll yeah. work for me. I feel good. These guys yeah. are turning around looking at me like, oh, gee, that's you? And But that was him giving the ultimate effort into making everybody yeah. see you the way that you should be seen. Mm. And it just does so much for players' confidence. Well, I got yeah. some tape to show you because what I've been doing, I've been playing with this 2022 script action. Everybody's been handed their NFL script. I picked a play from this year that made me so proud to be a Tua fan. So let's look at the Tua Tonga by Loa 2022 NFL script as loved by the Up and Adam show. This was a big year, but this was week two. Do you remember this one against the Ravens down 35-14 going into the fourth quarter? Talk me through this play to a mm. yeah well I I think on that one I mean, <laughs> second second so second second game of the year yeah when I mean, you battled back you were Battle down back. this is the fourth quarter this Looked is a throw like to Tyreek Hill well can't can't throw throw the deep ball for one <laughs> Did you guys saying. hear that? Excuse me, say that one more time. Can't what? Can't throw the deep ball. Can't throw the, the deep ball. That's interesting. Early, early in the year. But yeah. Woo! I, I think the, the, the coolest thing, though, uh, about about that um, was that it, it really showed the perverence of our team early 100%. in the year. Um, and the kind of guys that we had, both offense and defensively. You look at the beginning, the first half, uh, yeah. things weren't going our way. Uh, and we were down by 21. And so the perseverance that, that you know, our guys had and, and came out with in the second half, no, that was just, prime just example a of prime example of, of um, that playing out throughout the season. Too. Ty Tyreek talks about how, you know, he can outrun any quarterback. And, you know, even when he's talking about Patrick Mahomes, it doesn't matter who's throwing him, right or left-handed, tall or short, stronger, weak. He just talks about how fast he is. And I find it hilarious because... Randy Moss used to say the same thing down to Dante Culpepper. They'd be at practice, and really? they'd just go back and forth talking. They're like brothers. <laughs> yeah. And Randy would be like, hey, Pep, you, you can't out throw me. I miss you, Randy Moss. And, <laughs> and Pep would be like, okay, I got you. I'm going to throw this one deep. And they'd be at practice doing this all game long. Does Tyreek ever, like, look at you and be like, hey, yo, I'm about to go, go on this one and, well, and give you a look at practice? No, he, he just tells me I – I can't out throw him. We don't ever, we don't ever like after practice, hey, I'm going to out throw you yeah. or in, in uh, routes on air, I'm going to out throw right. you. Um, but is it a different type of speed with him, though? I, because I we see it from a distance. So. It's crazy, right? I would say so. It is definitely different. Like, the fastest guy you ever played with? <sighs> Who could be faster? Who's close? Who's close? Well, I, I've had the, the, the fortunate um, chance of, of playing with some fast guys in college. Um, That's true. That is but, true. That is yeah, true. I would say Tyreek definitely. Yeah, Tyreek's he's the definitely fastest. the fastest. I wanted to say congratulations. Nate, so I sat next to Nate for six years. One of my favorite things about him is that he was a dad. A dad of three, the best dad. I was like, my gosh, if everybody could be a dad like Nate and love doing it. You have a new baby. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank How you. is that? Thank you. Tell it us. Is, it's the best thing. It's the best thing in the world. I, I know yeah. you can yeah. uh, relate. Um, Changes your lens on how you see the world changes your lens on everything um and i would say for me most importantly how uh you you talk to people how you treat people mm. um you know how you look at other kids too now um just 
life through a different lens is yeah. is life becomes enhanced. I would oh, say. That's so that's beautiful. The best way to put it. I have to ask you though, because of that, and then the health stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Several concussions. Yep. How do you look at that differently now, being a dad, removed from the season and mm -hmm. like the craziness of it? Does it yeah. make you want to step back a little bit? Well, no, I I, I don't think it it makes me want to or it forces me to be to, to be afraid of, of wanting to come back and play. Um, it definitely uh, makes me want to do things to uh, help myself, you know, by hopefully, you know, not not being in those positions uh, next year. So, you know, we'll, we, we got like a, a plan set up and I'll be doing uh, judo on Fridays just so that I can kind of figure out, you know, like, Understanding my body and how to fall and, and wait, that's like what that. judo does. You're about to be more dangerous than ever, man. Oh man, <laughs> I'm not, not trying to be a dangerous person in that way. <laughs> just just trying to help help uh Understand help the myself body and and movement. And, yeah, yeah. yeah that I makes think sense. that's amazing. Uh, Thank you. We're gonna get go into a break here. I want you to just tell us really quickly about the 2023 Miami Dolphins with Tua Tonga by Law. What do we fans have to be excited about? Well, I think the biggest thing to be excited about is. Um, you know, having someone like Mike Big Daniel just come in the first year and, and the belief that he's shown in, in our team this year, you know, you guys can kind of see a glimpse. Um, it was very unfortunate and it was a series of bad luck that we had this year with injuries and um, and things like that. But I think uh, everyone has a lot uh, to look forward to with uh, with the team that we have. I will take a Tua, I'll take a number three, a number six from Subway. The Subway ah, series no is alive and well here at Tua World 57. Everybody can download the Subway app or go to Subway.com to pick your sandwiches. And by the way, we'll post we'll post Tua's menu for what he gets when he goes to Subway. And yeah. you guys can eat and be like Tua. The Tua melt was good though, Nate. Yeah, yeah, yeah but great. his sandwich with the vinegar, I like that you one You like too. that. Are you getting hungry, Nate? Yeah, All right. All right. Let's go to the bar here in a bit. Thank you, Tua. Thank you. You're guys. here with Lowe's Hometown. Um, it's a five-year, $100 million investment by Lowe's in the communities that it serves. Why was it important for you, Justin, to partner with Lowe's? Um, you know, I've, I've had so much fun being a part of this, this partnership because what they've been able to do in the community is, has been huge. And that's one of those things that I've really tried to do these past couple of years of, of having this platform um, as, as an athlete. Um, you know, you can use it for the better. And, and Lowe's is one of those companies that has done such a great job in the, the previous years of its, you know, conception. And, um, you know, I've, I've had so much fun being a part of it. And if I can help out however I can, especially this this past year with the Kid City Breezeway project, um, it's been a lot of fun and, and doing a lot of good. So it's exciting to see. What's the most impressive feat of Lowe's-esque stuff that you can do? Uh, I fixed a wall. And so I, there was, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I was the one that punched the wall, but uh, so I fixed it. Not uh, Justin. You couldn't, even tell. you couldn't even tell that uh, there was a hole in it. So my dad and I fixed that and I learned a lot about it. Everybody watching this can go nominate. It's until February 20th. It's Lowe's Hometowns. Go to Lowe's.com slash hometowns. We'll get everybody all the information they need. With the sling, I mean, surgery and then the ribs and all of that. Everyone I talk to about you specifically says toughness is your defining characteristic. Is toughness your defining characteristic as a quarterback? Um, I'd like to think so. You know, I think that as a quarterback and as a teammate, um, you need to be able to put everything on the line. And, and uh, even when you don't feel great and when you don't want to play and you don't want to go to practice, you need to be able to go out there and, and give your best because your teammates deserve that. The, the team, the fans that follow the team, they deserve that. And so for me, it was it was important to be out there and to, to go play and, and give everything I had. And, um, you know, I think my dad taught me that growing up. So I'm thankful to, to have a guy like that in my life. Now, the season's over, so we can be honest about things. How much did it impact your play out there? Um, you know, I think the ribs early on were, were pretty tough. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a discomfort that I had to deal with for, um, you know, six or seven weeks. Um, but as, la as that got better, time healed. Um, and then the shoulder, um, it was kind of another discomfort thing. I uh, was able to throw, was able to do everything, but was kind of limited during practice. And so um, just had to find my way of, of being out there and getting all the reps um, without actually doing them all. 
loved talking to Justin. I talked to him for about 20 minutes. We'll bring you guys more of that next week and on our socials over at Up and Adam Show. Tough kid. He has a sling. He couldn't practice. He was feeling bad with those ribs and stuff for six to seven weeks. He wasn't even throwing in practice. It's crazy to hear how tough he is. And we'll talk about Brandon Staley and more of that. And more importantly, to support Justin's amazing efforts and Lowe's hometown projects and all the great things that they're doing in local communities, you can go to Lowe's.com slash hometowns and you can nominate a local project near you now through February 20th. We've got George Kittle on the show, Gabe Davis on the show, Stefan Diggs on the program, Nick Bosa, better bring that Defensive Player of the Year trophy, and Nate Burleson is here partying with me. And I got to say, I miss working with you for a lot of reasons, but I also miss the holidays and times that I would walk into my dressing room and there'd be a bottle of Crown waiting there for me as a gift. Isn't Crown Royal just the perfect it's gift? Delicious. Yeah, and it's the perfect brand to partner with. And, and you know, me being a Canadian guy, I'm born in Canada, and that's where Crown Royal's from. They're doing something really cool during the Super Bowl, and it's all about gratitude. You know, yeah, these other brands, they spend all this money boasting about themselves. Crown Royal is doing something different. Big thank you to Canada for everything that they do, everything that they provide. I mean, Canada, we represent. I mean, low key, if you're not paying attention, we run the world. <laughs> Canadians are out here doing big things. And Crown Royal is showing that in the Super Bowl ad, partnering with icon Dave Grohl. Amazing. So make sure you tune in for that. Wow. The 60 second ad, 30 second ad is already out. But you know, in Canada, we come out with a lot of stuff people don't give, a credit, give us credit Tell for. Me. What is great musicians. Um, Beebs. Yeah, Beebs, right? Uh, Jersey Drake. <laughs> of course. Putin. Actors, actresses, poutine. I, just said poutine. I was going to say, right. poutine, I probably would erase poutine. from that. That's okay. We won't post that. And if you ever Delicious. had poutine, it's the fries with the gravy and... Oh. Cheese. Yes. And then Hawaiian pizza. Did you know that? Hawaiian pizza's Canadian? Oh, Canadian well, bacon. creation. Yeah. See, what about the Canadian tuxedo? Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. Let's go. And not to mention, uh, very, very... Well, give me my single. Give me my single. Yeah, yeah, give yeah. Give me a single. Uh, Don't you guys Canada come on, also produces very, very handsome men. Oh boy. You know what I'm saying? Twinkle. But no, shout out to Crown Royal though. Um, like I said, it's all about gratitude. Yeah. Because what we've been through over the last couple of years, there have been so many people behind the scenes that just haven't been getting the love mm. that they deserve. And Crown Royal is saying, we see you, we appreciate you. So make sure you tune into the ad because we can all share that sentiment, right? The people that got us through during the pandemic, quarantine, and now yeah. where we are now, 2023, shout out to Crown Royal. Always doing it big and giving people crowns that actually deserve it. Shout out to PL. Shout, shout out, out to <laughs> everybody. Hey, shout Adams. out to Crown Royal. I got to ask you, when is the Dave Grohl, Nate Burleson collab coming Ooh, out? Ooh, yeah, I've been back in the lab, is that too. The, really? I've been writing. I yeah, heard yeah, yeah, been, I've been writing. I spit a verse to Fat Joe. He loved it. I saw you asked him to get his thoughts on your pen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what that is. My did you bars. Sing, did you sing for Rihanna? Uh, oh, no, I can't. Sing. You did. I wanted did, to you, rap for did you rap for Rihanna? Yeah, I want to get on a remix. You know what I'm saying? But did you did you give her a no, verse? No, we didn't, didn't have enough time. We were running out of time. The people were like, yo, we gotta wrap this would up. You, would you have it if you could, or would you yeah, be too scared? Yeah, I would have really? spit something for Rihanna. Of course. I love it. I will say this: a lot of people come here, and there's a lot of partnerships that happen, and everyone says, and they they read their lines, whatever. That is not Nate. Nate drinks Crown Royal. Nate gifts Crown Royal. And when Nate's talking about appreciating people behind the camera, behind the scenes it's that got us through the past couple years, there's do. literally no perfect person uh, but the Where's, who, what's all that ruckus over there um i think they're doing a little little pong who's over, over there? there all right we're gonna take a break uh, the wheel. oh no let's take a look well, let's go do the pong you want to do a pong no, let's go do the pong let's, let's do, the go the pong. do the pong all right, all right you could uh, make a drink with your crown royal eat your subway sandwich george kittle no on the way nick b -b -b -boso no, on no, the no, way no, we, as we well do, gabe we davis have, walking we over we do have water we do have water in why here. do you this looks also, smaller you today you play this with crown royal you drink responsibly by the way that would be an uber ride home if we can make that happen so here's the deal i want you to peek at this leaderboard first nate because you're one of the most competitive people I know. Okay. You've got a blank here. George Kittle gave Davis on the way. We'll see if Stefan Diggs comes. Right. Cam Jordan okay. took all of these in his massive hands okay. and went okay. and got like seven in at a time. Okay. Now you pick your strategy. All right. Don't do what I did. You really got zero? Yeah, I did. What are you surprised? You're more that? athletic than that. Uh-huh. All right. All right. 30 seconds. Go. Oh, go. 30 seconds? Yeah. As many as you can get in 30 seconds. Oh. Oh, oh no. Nah. Wow, Nate. You're more athletic than all that. Right. You're more athletic than that. Can I do like this? Oh, okay, no. all right. Dang, this is harder than I thought. I don't have a time. Dang, oh my goodness. Man, this is rigged. There we go. Okay, all right. Woo! Now let's heat up. How much time I got? 10 seconds. Let's right, go, Nate. Uh, Yay! Four, oh, that's not bad. Three, two, one. Puzzle beater. I mean, that's not bad. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Seven. All right, write it in there. Write it in there. Seven. That's what I'm talking about. You got eight. That puts me, okay, second place. Tied for second. Got, I mean, I think Darkwing Duck would have gotten more. I'm just saying. I think I Darkwing Duck would have done better. Darkwing Duck. Let's we get will dangerous. Be back. Apparently, Bosa has ditched us. What? He won that award, and he's like, I'm too big for your show oh, now. He'll probably be on, on CBS with him and Gail. Uh, we'll be back after this. We were trying to get Stefan Diggs and Gabe Davis. My boyfriend is here. Oh, my God. My boyfriend is here. Swaggy, you came to see me. Waving to Brandon Marshall. Brandon, we'll see you in a bit over there with I Am Athlete and TikTok. He is here. we got Sean Payton roaming around. We're trying to get Stefan Diggs. But right now, we welcome in one of my favorite personalities and one of your favorite personalities in the entire NFL, an all-pro athlete, all-pro football player. We'll lead the Niners to the NFC Championship game. Um, can we do a little walk-on for a guy in Rugrats pajamas? George Kittle! On the program. Woo, woo, woo. How are you? Okay, how are Dude, you? it's so good to see you. Great Come sit down. You. I'm here? Yeah, and oh. it's not probably not going to be comfortable for you because you're so Ooh. mega. Would you like a cocktail? Yeah, what am I drinking? Um, a margarita. We have a, a special margarita. Yeah, sure. Okay, go. you go over there and do that while I talk to you. Okay, so yeah, I'm at fun. honors yesterday. Yes. And I was only looking at Claire Kittle, but then I was watching on, the montage, right? Yes. The opening montage. Yes. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, there's so many Kittle highlights in this. It must be so cool to be sitting as George Kittle watching just this and seeing everybody and enjoying it. And then 10 minutes later, you're singing with Kelly Clarkson, which overshadowed anything that could have happened that night. Talk me through this. Yes. No, the being an NFL honors, that's the first time I was at honors. Is, really? Yeah, sorry. yeah, it was my first time at honors. My wife really wanted to walk, walk the red carpet. Claire Kittle. Claire Kittle, bless your heart. I love you so much. Oh my God. Um, let's see. So we did that. It was really fun. But like being able to sit there, I mean, sit next to McCaffrey, the Bosa's, the whole Bosa family, which is kind of fun because yeah. they're a massive family. Can we FaceTime Nick Bosa? He ditched me today. Did he really? He's supposed to come here. What do you think he's doing? Sleeping. Oh, okay. Thanks, Nick. He's, he's, a, he's a bear. He's hibernating. Oh, that's true. He that's got true. his that's award. He's yes, going to go to sleep. He'll we'll disappear to Florida got it. until got it. mini camp. Okay, talk to me about this song. But the song, uh, yeah, I got told about it about a week ago. <gasps> um, oh, thank you so much. Are you drinking? Is, is I, this I have one over oh, here. Oh, thank gosh. Don't make away. me do this by myself. I will not. That'd Cheers to you. Cheers to you on an incredible Cheers Kelly Clarkson rendition. Everybody's talking about it. Um, so uh, you found out a week ago. I practiced several times. Just a couple? Seriously? Well, after about the fourth or fifth time, I was like, it's not going to get any better. So let's just go out there and sing your heart out and have the best time you can have, possibly have. Did you have fun? Do you remember? Did you black out? No, I remember like about 15 minutes before that, my heart rate just started beating. I was like, okay, just deep breathing, kind of talk, talk myself down. About five minutes before I had to go, my wife, she was like, hey, just breathe. Like, it's okay. You're going to dominate this. You're going to be great. You got Can we hear a shout out to Claire yeah. Kittle? Yeah, just that'd be a wonderful. Shout out to supportive Thank partners Thank you out guys. there. You guys are wonderful. How amazing. Yeah, so uh, when it happened, it happened. Uh, I was a little jealous. Cam Jordan got backup singers. I saw that. Kirk Cousins, Kelly Clarkson sang with him. So I was like, and they were both singers. Kirk was in, uh, I think, choir yeah. since eighth grade. They knew you could do it alone. <sighs> You just have to put the pressure on me. Have right? you watched it out already? Yeah, I've watched it. I'm, it is what it is. How hard was it, be honest? Oh, it was, it was a lot. Really? Yeah. You said I, it was harder than a two-minute drill? Well, so the stress level. I was more stressed for that than I was taking the field to win a football game. That's crazy to me. I'm like, that's, well, I've done that a thousand times. I've not done singing in front of a huge audience. Never did, done that. Did Kelly say you did? Did you meet Kelly before? I met her on Wednesday. Okay, good. Bless okay, her heart. It. Uh, she tried to make a couple of Cowboys jokes at me. You're like, you, I was like, you can't really make those jokes. We yeah. beat you guys twice in a row. Sorry, Kelly. Oh, sorry, she, Kelly. Love you. Was, You're a great girl. She was super funny last she night. She was great. She, she was. Shout yeah. out to Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. Kelly Clarkson. American Crushed Idol's it. number one singer. That's how thank we you. All, my hands are that. Clark clapping. Uh, okay, you're here with Old Spice. I am. Uh, and you're here with Rugrats. Let's start with Rugrats. Reptar. Okay. What is Rugrats? Reptar. I like the dan the dinosaur. Yeah. Dinosaur is my favorite. So. Do you like dress that. yourself, or yeah. do you someone style you? Uh, no, I found this on a resale app for uh, eight dollars. Um, I love them. And Thank then you. that hoodie, I've seen you, all the biggest stars, you, C.D. Lamb, Trey Lance, you're all part of the Old Spice family. I had a date last night to honors. I went with the mascot. I saw that. I he, know. You know. I mean. You know what my favorite thing about him is? Tell me. Is that he's exact, he looks exactly the way he should look. It's a deodorant stick. It's, yeah. It's not that hard. Well, he's not fun. just a deodorant stick. No, no, he's stick. a handsome I, I got deodorant to know him. He's he so much bow, more. He was in a bow tie, too. I, I was just looking at his eyes. He just smelled so good. Yeah, look at us. 
Oh yeah, I mean they like look at it. it. Hot, that's hot, exactly hot new couple alert. That's how he should look. Yeah. Like they didn't they didn't have to think like they did that one. Perfect. What did your dad think of your singing? He was very excited. I'm a big fan of your dad and you. He was very you know what? Uh, I think I got my singing talents from him, so bless his heart. Bless his heart. All right, so yeah. tell me what you're doing with Old Spice. What am I doing with Old Spice? Well, we're part of the Swagger campaign. You just named a couple guys that do have a lot of swagger, so I'm honored to be a part of that team. My swagger's a little bit different, but I still got some. But um, I'm working with them 24-7 uh, protection because, you know, okay, you know, we're friends, right? <laughs> yeah. So, like, if I had something in my teeth, you would tell me, right? I would always tell you. But usually when someone smells bad, you usually just kind of avoid that person the rest of the day. It's so true. It's super hard because it's hard to tell someone. How do you, you tell someone? It's, it's like, hey, you don't, don't smell very good because what are they supposed to do about it? So instead, how about you just start with your day with deodorant, with uh, Old Spice deodorant? Yeah. Then you'll have the confidence because you don't have to worry about anything else. The only thing you have to worry about is maybe something in your teeth, maybe you have to brush your hair, but nothing like that. So Old Spice just got your back. Who smells the worst in your locker room? Oh, dear Lord. Name the person. CD Lamb you? told us Tyler Smith smells the worst. That's a large human. Yeah. Thing. Tell me, who smell who needs yeah. Just You know what? I, this isn't even I don't know if it's a smell thing. The there's a guy <laughs> that sits in his locker next to me. Great guy, love him human being. Yeah. Alex Barrett. He doesn't play with socks on in his cleats. He plays barefoot for his I don't know, he likes his foot health. But those cleats don't smell great. They don't. No, he takes those off. I'm like, I'm gonna just move a sec. You need to put the swagger in the shoes. I'm gonna. I need a spray. Can we get a spray? Swagger I'll bring up. it to the locker room. We'll take care of that. That sounds amazing. All right, I want to say, uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm having a drink at. 9 30 morning. I don't know what you're talking. This is what Nick Bosa is missing. Can you tell Nick Bosa what he's missing? What a great time we're having here. Nick, we love you. You're hibernating at home. We get it. But we'd love to have you up here, man. There's a seat right here for you. You can just take a nap right there. Uh, no worries. I love seeing Purdy oh. get the highlights at NFL Honors. So cool. He's getting jokes from Kelly Clarkson. Can you imagine being him? What clicked and why is he so poised in Shanahan's words in your perspective? Um, like, what is it? What made it click was his confidence and his own ability. Like, he wasn't worried. There was no, I mean, he has pressure on him, right? There's, he's a quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers. He's Mr. Relevant. Like, there's not, you know, first overall uh, pick talent, uh, like that type of pressure. But it's like, okay, hey, it's on you. Like, you have to play at a high level for us to do anything. Oh. Hey, yeah, that's us. That worked out pretty well for me. Not bad. Good job, Brock. It's the Iowa connection. But he has his confidence to him and his own ability. But then um, just what, what made him successful was he played 48 games in college, right? Like, he was a starting quarterback. He knows how to do it. He knows what comes with it. And I'm not saying that college NFL, there's some like there's similar. It's the same sport. Like there's a lot of differences. The speed's a lot different. But um, he came like he's played the position before. He's lost big games. He's won big games. He's had ups. He's had downs. He's bounced back. So like he's a gritty guy with yeah. a lot on his plate, and he just kind of ate all of it. It was awesome. Here's you know you're talking about how you, it's hard to tell someone it's awkward to be like you smell bad, right? And that's why you just need old spice, and then you don't ever have to worry about it. God, you're good. I can't imagine. I really can't. Being in a work, it's a work situation. You're working, yep. and you click with this guy, and I'm showing you graphics, and I'm saying, "Tell me how much you look pretty." And you've got Jimmy Garoppolo on your T-shirt, mm -hmm. and then you've got like, how? What is the best way to manage that? How do you do it? I know you're like, I love everybody. Is there a conversation that happens that's just like it's a businessman, or like what? I'm gonna support all my teammates. I'm gonna give them all love. Um, the only way that I can be successful, really, at my job is if whoever's playing quarterback throws me the ball. Um, so, I've, out of like, I've loved all my quarterbacks from C.J. Beathard to Nick Mullins, Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, like Brock Purdy, like all these, Josh yeah. Johnson even. But like all these guys, like they come in there and they're trying their best. And like, I know like it might not always go our way, but they're not out there trying to sabotage me. And like, they're trying their best. They show up to work. It'd be a different situation if I was dealing with a guy who didn't treat his teammates the right way, disrespected guys, was kind of a dick in the huddle. We, I have, I've only worked with fantastic people, so I'm going to support them as best as I can. I love Trey. I love Jimmy. I love... CJ Beathard, I love Brock Purdy. Like, they're all great people, so I just want them all to succeed so then I can win the Super Bowl. I love hearing that. It's the perfect answer. That's why you're so successful, and no one deserves it more. And you're such a freaking hard worker, and we love you here on the show. I want to uh, okay, ask incredible. you this. Look, Thank Gabe you. Davis out there. You're incredible. Um, uh, what up, Gabe Davis? Who, who here that did you see this week that you loved seeing more than anybody? Ooh, besides you. Yeah. My mom. You're the best. My mom man. said to tell you hi, by the way. Really? Oh, yeah, she's watching. I've never met your mom. Uh, I've met your dad. My mom loves you. I'm so in love much. with Claire Kittle. Claire I would fight you for Claire. Fan. Who was I really excited to yeah. see? 
Um, oh my gosh, I met Sean Alexander yesterday for the first How time. How was that? It was really cool. I don't I know, do you I, remember Sports Illustrated for Kids? Yes. So like, I was a diehard reader of that. Like, I love that so much. But there was an article in there with Sean Alexander about his pregame meal, and it was this huge poster of him in a full uniform in the middle of Seattle Stadium, eating a big plate of spaghetti and meatballs. I don't know why I hung it on my wall, but I'll never forget that as a kid. And I met him yesterday. I told him that. He was like, honestly, you're not the first person to Is tell me that. Is that true? I was like, dude, Sean, awesome. You're so, like, am I the first person with rug wrap pajamas, though, to tell you that part? Hey. But I am. George Kittle with Old Spice. Maybe we'll come down here. Do you see Dave Davis? Oh, I'd love to. Do you to. see your uh, little pong game? Let's go, George Kittle. Oh, Move it. I have to work at I love work. that your name is George. Hey, would you like a beanie? Yes. I was which about one to would say, you oh, like? Like a. This one or the. All right. Which one do you like? I'm going to give you both one for you and Claire. Oh, God, there you, you go. Are an angel. Claire Kittle, we love you. We do love you. All right, Claire. come down here. Hey, Dave Davis. Hey. hey. Thank you. How are you? What are you doing? Good to see you. Do you know this hey, guy? Davis. What's up, baby? How you doing? Wow. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. All right, I'm going to let Big George fan. get Big the fan. benefit of watching you go first. You have oh, yeah, 30 seconds. Okay. Let me just take you through this. Here's the leaderboard. <laughs> I saw McCaffrey did it, right? Okay, McCaffrey did it and got eight. Cam Jordan did it after three shots of tequila, and he just did this with his massive hands. This and threw them, and so did Nate Burleson, and that's how he did so well today. That's how so he did it? It's that's up to you. Do it however you want to do it. Let me hold this for you. All right, let's do it, and then you're going to go, George. Is there an elbows rule here? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the winner wins. My boyfriend is really trying to get in a lot of air. T Can you let me cook? Thirsty. He's there. You're a little thirsty over there, Swaggy. No, I'm kidding. Get out over here. All right, we ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll start on you. I'll start on, on me? Release. Okay, don't, no, on the don't, release. Don't, don't feel the pressure, Dave. Do it. No, there's no pressure, Dave. Let's go. Good. Woo! Oh, Here we go. buckets. Oh. Buckets. Oh, shit. Hey, we got another ah. the hey, we got another lefty. Yeah, and that's probably the not, that's not it. That's probably why I, I got zero. Oh. oh my God. Woo! There we go, there we go, there we go. You got this, you got this? Four. Okay. You got 10 seconds. Five. Oh. Four. Oh. Five seconds. Gabe, 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 Gabe! One more, one more. Woo! Is not it? bad, not bad. See, first thing in the morning. Five, six, seven. Seven, all right, we'll put a big seven here. Oh, where, awesome. where are you third at, place, Gabe? Place, not, place, all right, George, place, you gotta go. Yeah, so George, let's do most, it. What was the best way to do that, Gabe? Okay. What? Throw them all at once. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Swaggy, baby, come over here. Didn't I tell you that I was gonna work all morning? What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Gosh, my boyfriend will leave me alone. Are we like Insta official now? Was it a soft launch or a hard launch? I don't even know. Nope, that didn't. All right, all right, we're gonna start. Let's go. I'll start it on you, George. Do you think it's going to do okay? Yep. Baby, it's release. good to see you. I had All so much right, fun last good. night. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe bounce it. Nice. Oh, two. Bucket. George, 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 George. Come on, kiddo. Oh. Come on, kiddo. Come on, kiddo. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Wow. Everyone, I'm at five. This is an athlete. Five, four, three. Yeah! Five! Ah! Oh! 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 champion here right no. this you're the best oh, thank you all right gabe davis is up thank next thank you guys you guys are wonderful do that sign it we'll get some more margaritas talking to gabe davis one of my favorite players up on stage next on up and adams here we go here we go let's here we go. go am i coming up here with you k yeah let's get a picture oh my god what is happening <laughs> i'm here with one of my favorite wide receivers who like we, we know each other like that, even though we don't know each other like that. This is Gabe Davis. Gabe, how are you enjoying Super Bowl week? Okay, good. You know, having fun, had a fun night, night yeah. last night, and, you know, glad to be here on the show. How much sleep did you get last night, Gabe Davis? Like four. Four, four hours. hours! Four well, that's why you are such a badass for coming and hanging out with us here on Up and Adams. Uh, and I don't know if your mama would like that you got four hours sleep. Now, you know I'm the biggest fan of your mom, and she is so supportive of you vocally. So let's give a little shout-out for all of her support this season. Yes. Mom, I love you. I'm glad that you get to see me on the show with your favorite person ever, Kay. Kay's been amazing from the jump ever since I came into the NFL. She's shown me nothing but love, support, you know, ups and downs. She's always been by my side, so got nothing but love. Oh, love Mr. Gabe Davis and the whole Davis family. Okay, let's talk about this season. It feels like you took a, a leap. Josh Allen every year takes a leap. You really did that. You got on the map with him in sort of a different way. What was behind that? 
Um, you know, again, just me being being on the team for now for the past three years and being able to be on the offense for three years and be around the guys more and get to know them and, uh, you know, obviously get the reps in. So, I, you know, it's a whole process, a developing process I've been able to develop each and every year. So, you know, being around, you know, doing that. How would you describe your connection with your quarterback? Uh, I feel like I'm like Josh is like top five, like best people in his life ever. So I feel like me and him have a connection. Just Wait, why? I'm such a great person. <laughs> You know what I mean? And me and him are so relatable. Okay. I feel like, you know, that's why, you know, me and him are, you know, again. But take me into that. What makes you one of the best people in his life? Um, I would say, like, our, like our sense of humor, the way we look at life, the way we uh, approach life. I feel like it's all the same. And, again, I'm, I'm, I probably hang out with Josh probably once or twice a week. You know? And what do you guys do when you hang out? Like, you see some images of, like, Joe Burrow taking his guys for Taco Tuesday. What's yeah. the thing that you guys do? Um... Long walks, you know, I like Erie. Uh, you guys go on walks? Wa watch movies together. No, no, no. You, know? you guys go on walks, no, you I'm and kidding. Josh? No, no, no. I thought that was serious. <laughs> no, no, well, What no, do you guys no. do, like, when you guys go hang out? Just no. kick at each other's houses? Yeah, we just kick it at, yeah, probably kick it at, you know, Josh's house is way bigger than my house. So, you know, we go kick it at his house, and, you know, there's everything at his house that we can do. So. Uh, okay, whatever your mom tells you before these big playoff games works, because you show out in the, the more, the most, in the biggest spots. Okay, wild card round against the Dolphins. I'm going to look at your 2022 Gabe Davis script. Let's tee it up. This is a script that was handed to you before the season, and here it is. I mean, <laughs> you drove the dagger, Gabe Davis, through Miami's upset bid. Uh, so talk to me about this. This is some toe drag swag, Nick Wilson would say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like... Uh... The playoffs add extra juice too. You know, guys try to say each game is the same. I feel like once you get in the playoffs, there's always some extra juice going on. Always some extra motivation. Um, and I just know I want to be able to, you know, in the in the toughest situations, you know, put my put the team on my back and uh, was able to execute every time the ball came my way that get, that day. Well, it was amazing. Toe drag swag. It shows how good of a player you are. What are we supposed to call you in these playoff games? Is it playoff game? What do you want us to call you? I because think my, mom, my mom likes uh, Big Game Gabe. Big Game Gabe. I, I have that here. Big Game Gabe, Gabe or Playoff Gabe. Okay. Mama, that's what we're calling him from now mama on. likes, you know, that's what we do. So. Um, what do you make sitting now? You're having fun. You're at Super Bowl. It's great. But that loss, does it sting still? Are you past it? Like, how do you deal with that kind of thing? I mean, when I, when I pulled up uh, and I was walking in the airport and I saw the Chiefs and the Eagles stuff going on, I mean, it just... Then I, I hung out with my guy Kenny. Kenny game with me and him are real close. Oh yeah. Um, but it just hurts my stomach real bad every time I, you know, see some stuff going on. Or again, I even saw Kenny last night. And I was and I was you know feeling it just because you know, um, the guys that I play with and what we do and what we sacrifice. You know, obviously, I would love to be in this position, be able to play in the Super Bowl, and you know, all this is nothing compared to being those guys um, on Sunday. So uh, it's it's a. Uh, it definitely, it definitely uh, hurts, but, you know, it is what it is. You just what kind of things it. are you thinking about when you see that? Like, what's the upsetting? Do you think of a play? Do you think of a moment? Do you think of the Bengals game? What do you think about? Yeah, I mean, I just, yeah, I mean, you, you always think of what, what you could have done better um, to put your team in a better situation uh, yourself and then what we could have done better as a team. And But, you know, again, you just got to learn from these experiences yeah. and be able to roll over. And What's you know, the positive, game? What's, what's the positive you can take from that to build and go forward? The positive is that you know you're capable of doing it. You know you just gotta you just gotta find those pieces and put them together and be able to, uh, you know, again, it, this is the this is the best game in the world and this is the number one game to watch in the world and um, it's 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 hard to get here. We all know that, but at the end of the day, we gotta know that uh, all we have to do is sacrifice, you know, to be able to get in this position because this is the best position to be in. It's so true. Now I know you love me, but you probably love Rihanna a little bit more. So talk to me about this halftime show. Are you excited? What should she sing? Of course. Who should she bring out? Of course. Rihanna's the OG. Yes. Uh, <laughs> got a lot of love for her. I actually met her two years ago. Um, it was pretty pretty cool at the Rock Nation brunch. I was able to meet her and meet a lot of other people. But a uh, very humble, uh, sweet woman from what I remember. Um, I told them that they, that she should bring me out there. Oh, well, would you? Would you? Me and her would look you good. You would sing. You and her would look good for sure. Yeah, me and her would look good. Uh, if she needs me to hit a couple notes, I will. You know. <laughs> Can we hit? Well, 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 that's. Too, I mean, she could still change you and get you in. Let's hit a couple notes here. What do you want to sing? Um, Take a sip. <clears throat> what do you want? A little rude boy. Work, work, work. Say my name. What? 
Arena, any song. Give me anything you want to sing. Cam Jordan and Mark Ingram were wildin' singing on the set. Come on, Gabe Davis, go! Rihanna? Bell, anything. Just anything you want. Mary Hey Little Lamb, go. I should have bought you flowers. And oh. held your hand. To uh, uh. Come on, come on. That was good this. hours. To the <laughs> You're singing Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars, that's my If I thought that my last no seconds of my Super Bowl week were going to be playoff game, no, sorry, big game Gabe singing awesome. Bruno Flowers oh, Bruno. to me. Yes. Uh, Bruno Flowers, Bruno Mars, Bruno and Mars. cheers. Thank you to Gabe Davis. Thank you to everybody who's. Stopped. It's kind of quiet here please on a Monday. Woo! Shots, please. Call our two shots for these two. We love it. You can't. Let's Come on go now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> A double for four, for four. Can I have a shot of tequila, please? Thank you. Now I'm talking about he he he. But when Terry gets interviewed, like you just go. I knew it was over if he didn't make he it. Made a business decision. Yeah. <laughs> hey, cheers to you. Cheers. Yep. Let's go for it. Uh, Come on, you gotta get at least ten. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. You only get there and tone that tighter properly. I don't, I don't know what I was saying, what I was thinking about. I was just lit, you know. He once told me he was going to come to my wedding. And there was no Jay Cuddy. I didn't talk to him for another three years until I got traded from the Miami Dolphins to the Chicago Bears. So this is for America, baby. But Tom, I'm gonna take that picture of you in your underwear. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna get it out of my head. We got uh, this smoke coming for you. You hear this, Jerry no, Goff? It's on. It's you had such a good year over there in Detroit. We don't care. Crash it, crash it, crash it. Have you heard the song Money Bag Yo? Yes. Lately I've been feeling like it's me versus me. Okay. <laughs> Cam. Terry's probably had fun in college. What okay. about? Okay, you didn't hey, have fun in college. Hey, okay, Adam's had no Zero? fun in college. No, oh, hey, you, hey, no, you Rick messing Rick with Rick your homies. No, no, bro. And that underwear selfie right there kind of made my mind a little foggy. Trenches. Fuck <laughs> now. Uh, what have you been up to? What have, what have I been up yeah. to? Hi, Carmen, everybody. Do we see these guys wearing orange with this guy with a visor? You and a Broncos visor, I can't quite. Oh, it'll be right. Really? Yeah. It's just orange juice. Don't freak out, everybody. 